audience, uh, just like that, we are back. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Gina, and I'm the creative here on YouTube behind Creating Daydream. And what you're looking at is Truth Camp 2022. This was an eight-week study that Illustrated Faith did with the writer Brave Little Taylor. And what I've been doing is kind of walking you through the eight weeks, um, two weeks at a time. So this is week seven and eight. If you have not seen my other videos, I will link them below. And if you just want to see the whole entire project, that video videos coming. So today we are jumping into week seven and we're focusing on the spirit of truth, John 14, 15 through 31. And the front of this devotional says, I will ask the father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever. That is the spirit of truth. So the spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. And Jesus tells his disciples, I have to leave in order for me basically to fulfill prophecy, but I am not going to leave you alone. I am going to request that the Father send you a helper. And that helper is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a comforter. Um, in the Greek, it's called parakletos, I believe. I've listened to that three times, the pronunciation. I could be off. Um, and... It is just so, so powerful, so important. I really feel like through this study, the Holy Spirit has unlocked like a part of my mind in my heart just for the Spirit to dwell in and to teach me what God wants me to know. And oh, it's so, so, so powerful. So um, I'm going to talk a lot more about that in my next video. But in here, I'm just sharing like how I set this whole thing up. So I go through the devotional, I take my notes, and then I watch Taylor's live, which all eight weeks, seven weeks are on uh, the Instagram account, IGTV. She went live seven out of the eight weeks. So if you want to catch that, go over there and watch it. And then I rewrite my notes. So that's what you're seeing here. So I have a little bit of the you know, decoration with some um, elements from a couple sets from, you know, Taylor sets. And I just brought in some numbers. That's where you see the spirit of truth and the cute little deers. I put those on clear sticker paper. I put them in my notes. And then the creative portion of this is now in this little art journal, which I absolutely love. And let me just make a point here that the uh, Jesus, you know, didn't just leave us to leave us with the Holy Spirit. He was crucified and gave his life so that we may be saved and have an opportunity to be saved, which is the greatest gift of all time. So I just wanted to say that as well. <laughs> so you don't think that I don't know that. Um, okay, here is a look into my creative side. Over on the left there, I just took a few little pieces of ephemera and I wrote one, I put in one of the statements that Taylor has. It's life with the spirit of truth is one of constant and humble learning. And then throughout this, I printed the entire devotionals, all eight of them on clear Mako sticker paper. It is my go-to. And I just cut them as to how I needed them for the pages. So on some of these pages, I've cut them in half. I line them up. I rearrange some stuff, but it still reads as it should. And that was my point with this is I wanted someone to be able to pick this up and read it, look at my notes and I kind of understand or be intrigued enough to ask questions. So at the top of this page over here on the left, I have John 16, 13, and 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4, and John 16, 13, very powerful and popular verse, but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will only speak what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come, and boom so powerful <laughs> so powerful so over here I'm just showing you like a little way to put in notes you could just make a little hinge and I put a lot of washi tape um I just I love this journal it turned out super great and here's where like if you're using like clear sticker paper you can put it on top of words because you can still read through it as long as you don't put black I'm pretty sure you can still read through everything over on the right here, I just wanted this to be a statement page. Uh, the Holy Spirit is called Parakletos in Greek, and um, Taylor gave us a few different Greek words, and I thought that was really cool, just like a neat little translation. And one thing I want to share here real quick before I jump into uh, week eight is that I really feel like God just opened up a spot in my mind, in my heart through these eight weeks, specifically for the Holy Spirit. I know that the Holy Spirit has always dwelled in me, but wow, this eight weeks has transformed me like no other. So 
Speaking of eight weeks, a true testimony is week eight. Let's jump in. So for this last devotional, Taylor takes us straight into John 21. Um, it's 1 through 25. It's the entire chapter. And it wraps up the book of John. And on the front of this devotional, it says, This is the disciple who testifies to these things and who wrote them down. We know that his testimony is true. Um, and yeah, I, I have so much to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the video for it. Um, and I know Taylor had so, so much more to say. So she just went through the book of John and picked out the points on truth. But there's so much to know. So make sure like you read the book and listen to it, you know, through audiobooks. It's just fabulous. So here are my notes. Um, as you saw, I shared my map. I've been doing the little map on the back of the devotionals. It's kind of rewarding to highlight them. Uh and we're at the end, which is so cool. And here's just, I started kind of bringing back in some of my extra ephemera that was on clear Mako sticker paper and just putting it at the back of my notes. So what you're seeing here is a table of contents. I'm going to explain that all when I explain the entire uh eight weeks, I couldn't even catch my words, or also when I share the next devotional, I have an idea on how I'm going to do that. So now we're back into the creative side and I love this page. So what I did here was Jill Drangschult, uh, she's been using washi tape and like layering it and then putting paint over and I thought it was really cool and I did a little twist off her idea and I took a set called Margins Volume 1 that you're supposed to use in the margins of your Bible so it says like free, truth, true story. It has all these little cute little um, hearts and crosses and stuff like that. And I placed those beat like on this page and then I went over it with white paint and then I put Jesus in bold. And I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. Cause I think it's powerful. And when I'm like maybe going through this with someone, I think we could stop right there and like, you know, have little moments of discussion, this and that. So here we are into the devotional and this might be one of my favorite parts. So what I did was I took one of the bags. So the ephemera came in these really cool bags that illustrated faith did. And I cut off the bottom and I cut open the side and I left the flap on and as you can see um, I have little notes so I'm going to come in and write like my testimonies in there and leave them I had like two incredible things happen to me during these eight weeks I, I believe they are true miracles I'm going to share full videos on each one I believe one for sure and um, I'm going to like kind of share my testimonies and just start writing about them because it's taken me a long time to get there and I think they're powerful and just like Taylor says you know share your testimonies everyone's testimony can help somebody even if it's small just like the woman at the well going back to Samaria and telling them that I met the Lord or I met a man who knew everything about me so you know, share your testimony. <laughs> and I am telling that to myself too, because I need to. But here's another little cool page. I love how it came together. I love the washi tape. And I loved how um, the little ephemera pieces was like a flip book and I could flip that up. So, you know, you can get creative in all different types of way to add notes. This is like my last page. And what I did was I took um, the toolbox like Jill has a toolbox set that has like verses that she's picked out and I took John 21 25 and I just used some ephemera around it and a couple other little sets and here you see this is the devotional again the whole thing was printed on clear Mako sticker paper and then I wrapped it in washi I kind of got into the washi towards the end of it so I wanted to share that this book I believe I, I'm not even I believe I know I picked this up from Michaels and as you can see I started doing something in it and I just ripped it out I totally believe that we can upcycle stuff and the paper is like a cardstock but like kind of a construction paper but it holds paint so I still have room in the back of this but this project has just been so rewarding to me if you've been around since the beginning you know that I made the truth camp cover there on the left and I put it initially on my cork book and as I got like fuller I decided yeah you know it's too much <laughs> like I need to be able to tie that up so I think I'm going to tie a big cork ribbon around it and here I just want to share that when I come back and talk about this I might split it up into two videos because I want to go over like the main points and then all the main points that I took in but then I also want to share like how I wrap up um, my own notes with highlighters and stuff like that so I won't leave that plain 
So um, this wraps up Truth Camp Week 8. I thought it was really cool that Illustrated Faith gave us these little like ribbons like, hey, you are a beloved disciple and here's your ribbon. I'm going to hang mine up in my room somewhere. It has my name on it and the date. And I think it's super important to have. Um, so I will put the other videos down below. I'm still going to come back and talk about all of this at some point. But thank you so much for being here. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will see you real soon.